Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargard.com. This tutorial will look at counting how many words there are inside a cell. Now, the way we're planning on doing this is to combine a few text functions together. These text functions we're planning to use are the len function, the trim function, and the substitute function. To get this to happen, Excel currently does not provide a way to count the number of words inside a cell it does not have a function for that so what we're hoping to do is we're going to use the len function to count how many characters are within a cell so not how many words as yet what we're going to end up doing is counting how many characters there are in a cell and taking away how many characters there are in a cell but minus the spaces in between each word which we will use the substitute function for Let's just get started on this and hopefully it will become clear uh, as we go on rather than an explanation. Let's just get the first bit done. I'm going to write equals in cell B2. Looking at at the moment A2 only has one word. It has holiday. Nothing too impressive there but we'll go as we do. Equals len. How many characters are in that cell? And I'm actually going to put the trim function inside this len function. The trim function removes any spaces that may exist at the beginning or end of a text string of the text in that cell. So we don't know if there are or not. This could potentially be hundreds of thousands or even millions of cells. So we'll run the trim to kind of cleanse it or protect us against that. Sorry, a bit heavy on the click there. And I forgot my opening bracket. So we have this at the moment. We have a trim function, trim in the contents of A2 sitting inside a len function which will count how many characters uh, so if I was to run that function it would say seven there are seven characters in that cell and if I copied it down I'll get an answer for each as to how many characters are inside that cell now say so what we're planning on doing is is counting it again but this time minus the spaces in between each word um, yes <laughs> which will give us how many you know, not quite how many words there are will be one less because there are one less space than there are words. For example, here there is one space in between winter holiday, but there are two words. So I know if I can find how many spaces and add one on top, that will be how many words there are. So hopefully that makes sense. The plan is to put it inside this function again in B2. I'll click on the end of that function. Take away. This one's going to take away len, a number of characters. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a substitute function to remove the spaces. So substitute. What would I like to substitute? What what text? I'd like to substitute the text in A2. Come, what is the old text? You know, what is it that you want to replace? I want to replace a space. So I'll stick a space inside them double inverted commas above your number two on the keyboard. Comma. What would you like to replace it with? This time I'll put two double inverted commas, nothing in the middle, so replace a space with nothing. And then instance number will we'll avoid is an optional argument with the square brackets there. We'll put a closing bracket, so replace the spaces with nothing. What I should really do actually, sorry, is I should also wrap uh, the trim function again around the contents of A2 there to remove any space that may be at the beginning or end of the cell. Otherwise, if the word would get a mismatch between these two, it wouldn't be accurate. I should need uh, one more closing bracket there to close down len. So now inside len, I've got the trim function again. I've also got a substitute replacing the spaces. So, now press enter. This will give me how many spaces there are in between each word. Now I said it's not completely accurate. See, it's in the middle there's one there when there's two. There's three words there when there's four. So it's counting how many spaces, not how many words. But up in the contents of B2, if I click on the end of that formula, and I'll add one on the end, that will tell me there is one word in that cell. As I copy it down, I get the required answers. So that is a combined use of some text functions to count how many words are inside the cell. This example is counting how many keywords generated by uh, you know, what users have done in the search engine to find a website. 
I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some other tips and tricks at computergargoid.com.